Hi everyone, I'm David Hummels, the Dean at the Cranert School of Management, and I'm here with Professor Matthew Lionel. He's a professor of management who has been deeply engaged with our efforts in entrepreneurship and technology commercialization here at Purdue. So Matthew, uh, one of the programs that we're, I understand we're very excited about starting in January is i -Corps. Tell us about that. Yes, so we were awarded the uh, i -Corps Node Grant along with the University of Michigan and the University of Illinois uh, just a few weeks ago, and that actually starts off formally January 1st. Uh, so as an i node, uh, we'll be supporting the NSF's uh, i program, which was geared to help uh, federally funded researchers figure out the commercial potential and commercial path for their, their technology. Uh, so we're very excited about that. It builds on what we already had in place, which was uh, we're a, an i site. Uh, so we run various programs that are supported financially by the National Science Foundation. So help, help me understand, one of the things we've talked about is the difference between phase one and phase two support. So what does that mean? Yeah, so, so the National Science Foundation, along with uh, several other federal granting agencies, provide uh, seed financing for university-based uh, startups. Uh, it's called the SBIR, the Small Business Innovation Research, or the STTR, the Small Business Technology Transfer Research. And the, the initial grant uh, is really focused on helping the researchers resolve any residual technical scientific issues. Phase two is primarily geared to scaling up the, um, scaling up the business and getting ready for sort of full commercialization. Uh, so what the i program does is you know, prepare people for applying for the SBIR phase one, which, uh, um, and the, the impact of the i program is that um, Teams that have gone through the i program have about a five times better success rate mm. in applying for the SBIR. And, and together, the phase one and phase two provide about a million five of non-diluted seed financing. So this is a unique resource available mm. to uh, university researchers and, and uh, not available to, uh, in the public. And the SBIR is really geared to you know, funding uh, high-risk research, so mm. disruptive uh, technologies. Uh, that are really too risky for private equity or other financing mm. sources to jump into. So it really helps bridge that, what we call the valley of death, between mm. you know, research in, in a university institutional environment and the uh, and moving it into the commercial world. How does it help to put uh, Craner faculty and students together with the engineers and scientists in that process? So we, we rely uh, a couple of ways. So one is that uh, we have MBA students working through the foundry. And so the teams that are either going through our local programs or preparing for the local programs have access to the MBA students to help them figure out some of the uh, market uh, dynamics, the competitive situation, uh, do some of the fin initial financial planning that's relevant for, for them. And we also run courses. Uh, so where we bring together graduate students from, from the College of Engineering, the College of Science, and MBA students to take the research that the uh, STEM graduate students are working on and move it forward. So a couple of great opportunities for MBA students to really see what goes on outside Cranet and, and the amazing research that's being done across Purdue. That's, a, that's an exciting mis, mix of possibilities. I mean, we're, we're here talking to alumni today. Is there, is there anything in particular they can do to help us out? Definitely. Uh, and we have wonderful alumni and, and whenever I meet them, the first thing they ask is, uh, how, what can we do to help? So we, we are, as a, as a node and as an i site, uh, we're preparing teams, faculty-led teams, uh, to go to the national program. And the third member of the team is an industry mentor. And uh, it's really important for the academics to have people that can join the team that have been there, done that, uh, have participated in moving technology to market either as an investor or as a, an active entrepreneur. And so I know across the country we have many alumni that uh, bring rich experience mm. and uh, uh, if they're willing and able to, uh, to work with the team as they go through the process, it'd be a terrific experience for them, a great way to reconnect with, with Purdue and the research and, and a great service to the, uh, to the faculty that are moving their technology from the, the lab to the market. So don't be shy about reaching out to us if you're interested in helping out. It's, uh, it's, it's said that there's a, a great uh, dyn dynamism uh, in the Purdue entrepreneurial ecosystem. Cranert and professors like Matthew Lionel play a tremendously important role in that. Great talking to you. We'll hear from you, we hope, soon.